this is what to expect when you receive your package. You're gonna have a long frame box like this. Yeah. Um, and a flat pack of doors. The folding system's flat packed. It's either gonna be local or it's come on a truck freight. So that packaging is a little bit more robust. Yeah. But same format. Dude, robust. Robust. That's just heavy. Yeah, it's heavy. So not, not when it's installed, it's fingertip. When it's installed, so yeah. And even this, this is standard right here. It's super light, but it's long. You're best setting up near the opening as close as you can. Yeah. A nice flat surface, um, and it's just gonna make it easier putting it in the hole. But one thing to look for here, when you're opening your frame box, it'll have a sticker uh, indicating which end the hardware box is at. The amount of times these are lost <laughs> is ridiculous. So when you open it, make sure you locate your hardware box. It's got all your screws, install screws, instructions, handles, handles. and put it somewhere safe so yeah. you don't lose it. So yeah, let's go ahead and open this. Uh, we'll put the saw horses into place and we're ready to lay it out. Let's do it. Put your saw horses on angles. Um, we're going to lay out the sill, the head and the two jams. Right. And it's just better than working on the ground. Well, right. and you and I have done a lot of these in driveways and backyards yes. and side yards and things. Yes. So, so four sawhorses is key. That's key. All right, so the hardware box is up this end. First thing, first thing. All right, one thing you want to do at this point, once you've located your hardware box, is get the installation manual out. Yeah because when you receive your products, you want to open them, make sure it's correct as per the order, and also make sure that uh, there's no damage on your product as well. Right. If there's damage, you've got to let us know straight away. So, uh, this installation manual here um, has everything. So we're going to go through it today, but you know, it's got uh, a quality control checklist for the uh, installer to make sure that you're doing all the points, uh, you know, properly. And, uh, it's also got all the recommended tools. It's got a step-by-step -step guide for installing our product. Yeah, no joke, I have one of these in my toolbox. Yep. Because I've done so many of these and it's just, it's just the easiest paint by numbers. It's great, it's, it's very pictorial, self-explanatory. Uh, there's one for folding, sliding, we've got screen ones, so uh, hold on to this, don't lose this. Yep, and I will say this, because La Cantina it's this, is such a special product, don't just throw away the screws. These are special screws. They're here for a reason. And, 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 and they're like, you don't, you don't go buy more of these at the hardware store. So grab all your, make sure all your hardware is here. Keep it safe. Keep it all in the same box. Yep. And, the, and this is your Bible. That's right. In your hardware box, you'll get everything you need for the installation as far as screws, um, magnets, your handle, your lock. Uh, there's a homeowner's manual in here, so it's important to put that aside for the, for the homeowner when they need it to, you know, learn how to operate the door, uh, who to call if there's a problem. So you'll notice here that each bag is labelled as per the instruction manual. Yep. So it's easily identifiable. Yep. We've got head installation screws. We've got jam installation screws, which are on the side. Yep. We've got sill installation screws for both wood and concrete. Yep. So, uh, you know. Here's the concrete ones. And there's the concrete ones. Yeah. So, um, depending on your opening, you know, half the time it's a concrete slab, half the time it's wood. So, I think it's also important to note that these screws are for wood framing. 90% mm -hmm. uh, of the openings are wood. Um, so, there's a lot of other different openings out there, whether it's steel, block, depending on where you are in the country. Um, there's a lot of different materials being used out there. Uh, anything but wood, you're going to have to supply your own screws. Got it. Okay. Good note, good note. And we recommend what screws, so uh, you won't be left out to dry. You'll, we'll guide you in the right screw. Well, and, and, and if you think about it, I mean, the, with the system of the folding doors, I mean, you are relying on those screws to, to have a certain amount of strength. Yes, absolutely. So, so yep. like I said, you can't just pick up replacements at the hardware store. We have assembly screws to join the frame. Again, labelled. We've got hinge screws for when we ha hang the doors. Some plugs. Um, we've got magnets that keep your door together when you open it um, to stop the wind from, from blowing it open. And we've got a handle. So 
And as I mentioned, we've got the uh, homeowner's manual. So it's got everything you need. So we'll pop these back in here um, and again, put it in a safe place so we, we don't lose it. So there is a parts list in here that we can reference. So as we open up the frame and the doors, we can actually look at the parts that should be there. All right, so put the sill on the sawhorse closest to the opening because then you can just stand it up. Yep, okay. and do you want to do it? Yep. Like that? That's right. Okay. Yep. So just put them face up for now. Okay. So what is this, a 12 foot door? This is about 12 feet, so... You uh, couldn't find a heavier one? <laughs> so as you lay it out, the interior stop of the head faces the interior stop of the sill. So, so when then they, they just stand up. Yeah, yeah. Correct. Tell me a little bit about labeling these things. Yeah, so good point. On the bottom of the sill, and, or each part, you, there will be a letter. So if you look there, it'll have A, B, C, D yep. for the four corners. Mm -hmm. So just marry up the, the letter and uh, it tells you where to put the parts. Yep. Okay. So C's here, C's here, so I know that that goes like yep. that. You can lay them flat now, Josh, because we have to pre-drill them first before we stand them up and join them. Got it. Okay. So again, A and D. Yep. We got D there. Yep. So D goes there. Lee, one more thing. Yes. What? I, I, I throw them away. What are they? These get thrown away all the time too. So good spot. These are nail fins. Yeah. You're going to need it for the installation. They go in the, the side jams and the head of your, of your frame and integrate into the weatherproof barrier of, Got the, it. of the home. So after install? When we join it, we're going to put these in and stand it up with the nail fin in. Got it. Okay? All right. I'll so, put these by the doors. Yeah. So now that we've got it laid out, we're going to drill all the installation holes. Okay. So there's a specific uh, method to doing this and placement. Um, it's how we've tested the product. So uh, that's, that's how we need to prep it for the actual install. You'll notice that this system in particular has wood on it. Yep. As an installer, it's always good to check with your contractor, make sure that uh, they, if they want to pre-finish it beforehand or you can go ahead and install it. Sometimes it's easier to, to pre-finish it because then you get the bottoms and tops of the doors. Yep. And you have to seal it within seven days of receipt anyway. So uh, okay. you don't want any weather to get on it or that wood to start warping. Right. So. And, and, and as it is in four pieces and with the doors, you can get all the way around it. So it might be easier to do it before installing. That's right. Cool. Yep. Are we going to do that? No. Yeah, because that's not in my contract, no. man. I do not. <laughs>